Before we will start with questions, um, when I drove back yesterday after the lecture, I thought I should have mentioned something which I would like to start with now. Um, when we talk about the stems and branches in the great movement and we talk about the topologies and the uh, psyche and the um, the mind and the reactions of people into society um, that's not so Chinese <laughs> uh, when we talk about emotions uh, that's very different from how the Chinese originally think about emotions so whatever you hear in this seminars um, about emotional concepts or psychological issues that is how we in the West work with the uh, philosophy we got from China because emotions in Chinese philosophy is only a cause of disease and they are um, but they are not reason for life while here in the West we see them as a part of how we live a life we can't do without emotions they are, they are leading us um, so emotional life in the West is quite important um, in China when you look at emotions they are there to disturb the Shen um, and the Shen is seen as um, it's very difficult to translate it the, the Shen you actually can't translate um, when, when you look at the characters of Shen one part of that character deals with what, they, what we can call the spirit or something high, something which inspires us or um, the connection to something higher and the other part of the Shen is even more important I think is how it reaches out how it connects and you heard me talking yesterday about or the day before yesterday, that Qi is connection. Wei Qi has to do with connection. Um, metal has to do with the connection, how you interpret it, how you bring it inside. When we think about the Jing, we spoke yesterday that love is related to the Jing. Love is one of the emotions in China. It disturbs the Shen like joy or over excitement disturbs the Shen the first one always mentioned is anger yeah? liver tree rising disturbs the Shen in the West we think different about love so when I talk about love in relationship to the heart or in relationship to the Yi or in relationship to the Jing or the Zhe that is all part also of the Chinese philosophy but they don't use these words so when I use these words it's my responsibility and it is not based on the classical texts because then we couldn't talk about this aspect of love yeah so the Shen and I will talk about it more I think in November when we talk about the five spiritual sources but that actually is a wrong title because the Shen is Shen, Hun, Yi, Po, Zhe. That is Shen. And Shen is leading the other ones. But you can't say Shen is only spirit. It's a Shen in combination with Yi that gives you the attention, the focus. Shen in relationship to Zhe gives you the willpower. Shen in relation to Jing. Jing is the, the root of Shen. So you can't say there's only Shen. Shen itself doesn't do so much, I would say. It is, Shen is the spiritual connection and it reaches out, makes a connection to the world through all the others. It expresses itself through the others. So I want to start with that because when you will read it over and say, where does that all come from? Like when we spoke about the great movements and all the topologies related to the great movements and about the stems 
that is how we perceive the characters here in the West and how we can work with it because most of our patients are not raised Chinese or Japanese or Taiwanese but are raised here in the West with all the um, cultural relationship we have in the West and it's for every country it's different like the Chinese have only seven emotions we have loads of emotions yeah much more than than is described and they are not seen as just disturbing the Shan. In China, and I think it's still a bit like that, um, it's like the, the Shan should be calm. Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism, emotions are not good things. In Buddhism there are reasons to reincarnate. Like envy, when you envy a lot, it's a reason for reincarnation. And so in Confucianism and Taoism, is keep the Shen calm. There's, uh, I, I said this uh, also, uh, I think it was yesterday, when we spoke about this trigram. This is the trigram Dui, lake, some people translate it as mud. So when you disturb the mud in the lake, then the surface of the lake is not flat anymore, so you, then the Shen is disturbed. When the mud is going through the water, the Shen is disturbed. That's how they see emotions. And that leads to diseases. Well, for us, an emotion is a leading factor, and we have to get in tune with that. We need to understand them through self-knowledge, but the concept is very different. Yeah? So, what I teach you here in Stems and Branches course, in, in Great Movement, Stems, Branches, Topologies, and so on, the six divisions, is based on Chinese philosophy, based on what I have received from Dr. Van Buren, based on what I have received from my French acupuncture teachers, but translated into clinical approach here in the West. Okay?